Stella Wingfield hated to cook. Still, she spent that Friday morning grating cheese and greasing a pan and laying in macaroni because her eldest daughter was sick and Stella could no longer sit by and do nothing. Oh, no thanks. Oh, come on, I made it for you special. You've got to keep your strength up. I appreciate the effort, but I told you I can't keep anything down. And FYI, mac and cheese is halfway to vomit. You might as well have given me a plate of creamed corn. Aren't you taking the anti-nausea drug? Yeah, I am taking it. It's just not working. <laughs> well, um, I know something that might help your nausea and boost your appetite. Um, perhaps a little visit from my old friend, Mary Jane. You're suggesting pot? A lot of chemo patients use it. Hell, I did. Come on. Let Mama score you some kick-ass chronic. Kick-ass chronic? Uh-huh. You're a grandmother. Shouldn't you be off somewhere knitting an afghan? Just trying to ease your pain. Well, thanks. But I prefer not to get my medication from some guy under a bridge. Suit yourself. Here's the thing. My daughter has cancer. She's so nauseous she stopped eating, and I can't just stand by and watch her waste away. So I ask around, and people thought you might be able to get me what I need. You follow my drift? Um... Yeah, you, you want me to score you some weed. <laughs> the best stuff you can get. Nothing's too good for my little girl. 